morning students welcome to physics class i'm going to tell you a story that took place during the 20th century bc in greece once a farmer was grazing his cattle while grazing his cattle he was stumbled upon a rock the nails in his shoes and also the tip of the stick got struck to the rock he was in tree and started digging the rock he dug out all the rocks and take it outside he found that the rock was black in color and it had a special property of attracting objects he hailed from a region called magnesia in greece and his name was magnus the farmer's name was magnus and he hailed from a region called magnesia magnesia is in greece so he named the object or the rock as magnetite based on the name of the place he hailed from so now you might have understood the topic of the lesson yes it is magnetism and electromagnetism magnets have the special property of attracting objects have you ever played with magnets magnets are always attractive object for humans in fact the famous scientist einstein was also fascinated by magnets in his childhood captains of the ships used magnets to find the direction in earlier days as magnets have the property of resting in the north and the south direction magnets are of two types artificial magnet and natural magnet natural magnet and artificial magnet natural magnets are found in the deposits of rocks and soil artificial magnets are made by us the magnets what we buy from the shop are the artificial magnets the strongest magnet is the natural magnet which is called as the lodestone magnetite lodestone magnetite is the strongest natural magnet this lodestone magnetite is used for for making compass so in today's lesson you are going to learn about the properties of magnets the effect of current using magnet electromagnetism and also the applications of electromagnets let us do an activity i have placed a magnet on a table also i have placed some pins now you slowly move the magnet towards the pin
you could observe that the pins jump across and stick to the magnet see there is a distance between the pins and a magnet so the space or the distance between the pin and the magnet is said to be the magnetic field which is an invisible field around the magnet from the activity we can understand that magnets have an invisible field around them which attracts magnetic properties so in this invisible field we can feel the force of attraction of magnets so what is a magnetic field magnetic field is a region around the magnet in which we could feel the magnetic force of attraction so that is called as the magnetic field so what is a magnetic field it is the region around the magnet where we can feel the force of attraction the region around the magnet where we can feel the force of attraction is called as the magnetic field magnetic field is denoted by the letter b that is capital b and the unit for magnetic field is tesla so the symbol for magnetic field is capital b and its unit is tesla magnetic field can penetrate through all kinds of materials the earth can produce its own magnetic field that shields the ozone layer from the solar wind what is a solar wind solar wind are charged particles they are the charged particles that are coming from the upper atmosphere of the sun so the earth produces its own magnetic field and shields the ozone layer from the solar wind and this magnetic field is also responsible for finding the direction now let us learn magnetic field lines magnetic field lines or the curve drawn in a magnetic field in such a way that the tangents these are the tangents the tangents drawn on the curve gives the direction of the magnetic field and always the magnetic field line starts from the north pole and ends in the south pole so how will you define magnetic field lines magnetic field lines are curved lines drawn in the magnetic field in such a way that the tangents drawn on the curve gives the direction of the magnetic field now let us learn magnetic flux how will we define magnetic flux magnetic flux is the number of magnetic field lines passing through a given area magnetic flux is the number of magnetic field lines passing through a given area 
presuppose if this, this is the given area Magnetic number of magnetic field lines passing through a given area gives the magnetic flux. Magnetic flux is denoted by the symbol phi. Magnetic flux is denoted by the symbol phi and its unit is Weber. The unit of magnetic flux is Weber. Now let us learn magnetic flux density. So what is magnetic flux density? Magnetic flux density is the number of field lines passing through a unit area. In magnetic flux, we have learned that passing through any given area, but magnetic flux density means it is passing through a unit area. That is number of magnetic field lines passing through a unit area. Okay, it is not any given area unit area. So, its unit is Weber per meter square. The unit for magnetic flux is Weber, but for magnetic flux density, the unit is Weber per meter square. So, magnetic flux density is the number of magnetic field lines passing through a unit area and its unit is Weber per meter square of magnetic lines of force. Magnetic lines of force are closed continuous curves. They are the closed continuous curves that are extending throughout the body of the magnet. So the first property is magnetic lines of force are closed continuous curves that are extending throughout the body of the magnet. Then the second point, the tangent to the curves of lines gives the direction of the magnetic field. The tangent drawn to the curves gives the direction of magnetic field and the third point is magnetic lines of force do not intersect the lines of force do not intersect. And the next point is the magnetic lines of force starts from the north pole and ends in the south pole. Starts from north pole and Ends in the south pole. So the fourth point is the magnetic lines of force starts from the north pole and ends in the south pole. And the last property is that the magnetic lines of force are greater or maximum in the poles than equator. So these are the properties of magnetic lines of force. The first property is they are closed continuous curves extending throughout the body of the magnet. The second point is 
the tangent drawn to the curve gives the direction of the magnetic field then the next is the magnetic lines of force do not intersect and the magnetic lines of force starts from the north pole and ends in the south pole and the magnetic lines of force are greater in the poles than the equator so in today's class we have learned about the magnetic field which is the region around the magnet where we can feel the force of attraction then we have learned about the magnetic field lines the curved lines that are drawn in the magnetic field and the tangent to the curved lines gives the direction of the magnetic field then we have learned about magnetic flux magnetic flux is the number of lines passing through a given area the symbol for magnetic flux is phi and its unit is weber and the next is the magnetic flux density which is the number of magnetic field lines passing through a unit area so its unit is weber per meter square also we have learned the properties of magnetic field lines thank you students